These are the Decade playing cards. What up crew, as I mentioned like 20 seconds ago, today we're gonna to be taking a look at these Decade playing cards. These playing cards are designed by Ido Huang, produced and distributed by Card Cuts, manufactured by the United States Playing Card Company, and printed on thin crushed stock. Taking a quick glance at the tuck case, I really do like the colors and the minimalistic design, and I think that's probably the theme that we'll see throughout this whole deck. Starting with the front of the tuck case, of course it says 2020, hence the name Decade, that just makes so much more sense. Now, I gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of the writing on this tuck case just because it's so big, but I like how well the colors go together as well as the simple geometric shapes. Looking at the back of the tuck case, it's probably a good indicator of what the back design of the cards will be. And again, it's the same 2020 design, except instead of the 20s being stacked like it was on the front of the tuck case, here it just says horizontally, like how you'd read from left to right, 2020. The sides of the tuck case, as you can see, are actually left blank. And then if you go ahead and take a look at the top, it says decade, and then you see a cross fade of color from the reddish orange color to more of a yellow. And of course, on the bottom of the tuck case, you can see all the info that we covered in the beginning. Now, let's open up this deck. Aid. Sorry, I just can't, I just can't help having bad puns. It's, it, I don't know. Taking the cards out of the box now. Uh, you can see that the back design is the same as we had seen on the back of the tuck case. Look at that. Pretty much the same. I would say maybe even exactly. Now starting with the uh, extra cards, we can see that the first one is actually just a uh, card cuts ad card, which is in a dark navy blue type color. And the second one is an extra king of diamonds with a reveal, which is quite useful. The Jokers in this deck also have that same 2020 design, except here it's a 20 on each cards. And now the corner pips also have stars instead of the word Joker that we're used to seeing. Going through the Aces next, first we see the Ace of Spades. I really like the design. It looks nice, but also simplistic. Uh, it says Decade right here on the bottom. And then in small print, it says Produced by Card Cuts. And I like how the rest of the Aces also have that nice custom design following the same theme. The pips and indices are slightly different in color than what you're used to. The black is actually a dark blue and the red is more of a uh, reddish orange color. Comparing to a regular bicycle deck, you can see the different colors, but the size and the font are the same. The main pips are actually very different. Uh, you can see this one has an outline and there's like a cross fade going on in the color from a blue green to a blue. And now this next one has a similar concept, except it has a golden outline and the cross fade is from a red orange to an orangish yellow color. Looking at the face cards, the design also has been a bit simplified, which makes the cards look very clean. And one thing I realized, the Kings have officially shaved. Like look at that clean face. Overall, a great design, a nicer and more simplistic feel on a regular bicycle deck is, is what I get from this. In terms of handling, uh, I like them. Again, they're printed on a thin crushed stock, so they handle quite well. Uh, the only thing is they do need to be broken in a little bit before you can fully go ahead and experience that full e experience. Does that make sense? I would recommend these for card tricks, card history, or even a chill game at the card table. Finally, time to talk about the secrets and extras. So this deck actually has something. I feel like the decks I've been covering didn't really have much. But this deck comes with a uh, duplicate King of Diamonds that, that we talked about earlier. And it has a Seven of Hearts reveal within that King of Diamonds. So uh, not only can this card be used for effects that involve duplicate cards, but also for a reveal. So that's, that's pretty nice to have a two-on-one extra card. Now I'd just like to wind down here with my final thoughts and where this deck would fall on the CM rating scale. In terms of the tuck case, it's a nice minimalist design. And I would say the one thing that sets it apart from any other tuck case is that it would really stand out in a pile of deck just because of the colors. So I would have to give this tuck case a two out of three. In terms of the cards themselves, I like the simplicity and I like how the pips 
are designed as well as how the uh, crossfade goes in the colors and the outline. Um, but I gotta say, I'm not a fan of this back design. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I'm not a huge fan of this giant text that they have here in the back. Uh, again, I would say I'd give this uh, card design a two out of three. For the handling, as I mentioned, they handle pretty well after being broken in. So again, a two out of three. Uh, what would give them that three out of three is if they handled well right out of the box. Now, of course, this deck has a little extra with that duplicate King of Diamonds and a Seven of Hearts reveal. So it'll definitely get a point on that end. Overall, adding everything up, I would give this deck a CM rating of seven out of 10. Before I end this video, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Card Cuts for sending me this deck. Thanks so much. And if you guys like this deck, make sure you support Card Cuts by getting it for yourself. The link to it will be down in the description. Now, of course, to see more deck reviews, you can click on the playlist right here. And hopefully I'll see you there. Peace out.